Live. What's up, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, the world's greatest living artist. Good morning. I'm here in my studio already. And I want to talk to you really brief here about a uh, concept that that I believe is, is very uh, it's very important. And if you don't understand it, it might be taken in a different way and it could be very damaging. And this is the idea of um, practice makes perfect. I, I recently wrote an article on it on LinkedIn, and the reason I wanted to write it is because again, this is one of those this is one of those concepts that that uh, it's just very dear in my heart. Um, when I first started painting, I knew that if I wanted to get any good at it, I needed to practice. Right? I think I think just about everybody knows that. Everybody knows if you want to get any good at something, well, you, need to, you need to practice. I don't know how many times that did your parents uh, uh, tell you, hey, you know what? Practice makes perfect. You know, get to it. Repeat it. Repeat the action. Practice it again and again and again. And, and, and those words, you know, practice makes perfect. I, I, there's, a, there's a beauty to that to that phrase. I, I think it's almost, almost like one of those uh, magical magical holy phrases practice makes perfect it wasn't until later in my career that first first when i apply that my my uh my skill set became better of course because I, I was practicing my skill set became better i was doing better works i was i was learning very quick um i was anything that i applied that you know that notion of practice makes perfect anything that i would apply it, it, it my life would just get better um i i believe so much in it until later in my career when i started learning about strategies and and how's it going constance good to see you here about strategies and about becoming a better i don't know a better artist better entrepreneur and whatnot i started reading into the whole ten thousand hours thing you know uh, there's validity to that, of course. You know, the more you've done something, of course. Um, but I've tapped into something else, and it's not something new. It's the same thing. It's about it's about practice makes perfect. Um, but anyways, I don't want to confuse anyone with that. When I started getting older, I started buying into this whole idea of, well, you have to know what you're doing not just practicing it has to be the right practice and i was like oh fuck man well, what's the right practice and so everybody would say things differently and so i i very quick noticed that this is almost a, a malignant notion of perfect practice makes perfect perfect practice makes perfect uh, because depending on the guru that you're listening to, depending on the situation that you're listening to or that you're in front of, what the hell is perfect? Who, who gets to decide what perfect practice is? Uh, how do you find out what perfect practice is? What's perfect practice? And, and I talked to other artists and people, you know, I would be like, oh, yeah, I read that book, The 10,000 Hours. Yeah, yeah, I read, I read about that or whatever, you know. Uh, it takes it takes about 10,000 10, hours before you, you become pro and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I would have these conversations with other artists, and they would be like, "Oh yeah, no, but but you know, it's not just the ten thousand hours. It's that it, you have to have the right practice. It's got to be because perfect practice makes perfect. You have to have the right practice." And I'm like, "Well, shit, man. Like, who, who decides what the right practice is? Especially in art. Especially in art." I completely understand the right practice in, uh, I don't know, something else. I don't know, like medicine or something. Yeah, you need someone to instruct you what that is. But in places like art or, or skill sets that develop, in, and even even there, even there, I, I would uh, I would argue also, depending on, on, on what you're doing. Uh, uh, there's there's a countless countless. Uh, uh, times in history where people became either they became soldiers or they became uh, nurses or or even doctors 
simply being around the right environment, right? The, the, the right, what's the right environment? Well, where, where, where people were practicing that. And, and they just kind of took on the whole behavior. And so anyways, I don't want to get into that, but, but, but art is what I'm talking about here. Uh, visual artist's practice makes it familiar, comfortable, removes fear. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's a wisdom in, in, in practice. There's a wisdom in repetition. And the thing about repetition is that, is that I found out that it has to be daily. I, I think most people don't sign up to it daily to the point where it's actually creating a shift in your, in your, in your psyche. When, when you sign up to something and, and you're not doing it daily, it doesn't create that shift. It takes a very long time before you start, you know, kind of getting in the groove. But if you sign up to it daily, it's it's almost immediate that it changes your your, your psyche. It, 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 it removes the fear, as, as, as visual artist said. It removes the fear. Um, it makes you comfortable with what you're doing. Why does it make you comfortable? Because you begin to know it. It's, it's not magic. It's just you begin to know it. Because so you begin connecting the dots. That's why I call it the, the, the wisdom of repetition. The, the article that I wrote is called The Wisdom of Repetition. Because the more you repeat an action, the more, of course, the more you know it. You know what's coming. It's kind of like, like, like children playing video games. Uh, they always they always win. I, I heard uh, Tony Robbins talk about this. They always win, you know. And they tell you, "Come on, play with me." I, I remember my, my son always tell. I mean, he still always tells me that. "Come on, play with me." And I, I hate playing because I always lose. He knows exactly what he's doing, and, and the reason why is because he's familiar with it. He knows what's coming next. He's prepared for it, right? He's prepared for every little second. He knows exactly what's what's happening. Hey, what's up, Aris? He knows exactly what's happening. So so the repetition made him familiar to it and he began connecting the dots well in the same way when you start repeating something uh it doesn't matter what it is you don't have to i i i, I get i get overwhelmed sometimes when people tell me how do i do it you, there is no how there is no how what, what do i do next dude uh, there's a there's a there's a famous poem uh uh, Spanish poem about how the road forges itself through the steps. You know, you have to take the steps first. But what steps do I take? Any steps? I don't care if you're going backwards. It doesn't matter. You'll you'll turn around and and and, and go the right way. It doesn't matter. What you need to do is you need to start moving because the steps make the make pave the road. And it's only when you're doing it, when you're doing it that you start becoming familiar with it. Uh, see, you, you know what to do next. You never know what to do next unless you're doing it. If, 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 if you're planning moves in advance, I know there's, there's an entrepreneur that says, I got my 15 moves in advance. I, I think it's a sweet way of saying that he's familiar with what he's doing. Uh, you don't plan moves in advance that far ahead unless, unless you know what's coming next. If this makes any sense, kind of like 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 uh, chess players, chess players know what what moves are coming. It's not that they're planning it. It's not like they never played it and they're like, well, I'm gonna do this. That's what most people do. Most most artists do this. They're like, well, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. Have you done it before? No, but that's what I'm gonna do. Dude, it's not gonna work. Of course not. Of course it's not gonna work because you've never done it before. Chess player can do that. A chess player can say, well, first I'm going to do this, and then it's going to do that, and I'm going to do this. And, you know, they can project because they've done it before many times. So they failed at it, come back to it, failed at it, come back to it, and, and, and adjust and adjust and adjust to the point where they can, they can plan the moves. They know exactly what's going to happen. If I move this way, you know, this, this, the other player is going to do this. They're going to move their, their, their little thing. I don't know anything about chess. They're, <laughs> they're making their moves. And you know exactly what's coming next. Here, let me see. Uh, visual artist says daily, yes, and day after day, either work for uh, a war to it. Can't wait to do it. If you begin to uh, dread it, to repeat, you begin. You're what you being into. You begin to understand. Yeah, what you love and not love. Yeah, when you repeat, you start getting a, an idea of it. 
you start getting an idea. When you repeat enough, you don't just get an idea. You're solid on what's happening next. You become solid. You, you, you know exactly what's happening because you've repeated it so much. You know, uh, it becomes mechanical. It becomes mechanical, sort of like walking. When toddlers are trying to walk, it's uh, like stumbling all over the place. It's the same way. It's the same way. Now, when you, when you get older, you're, you're a, a child or... Uh, thank you. You're a child or a teenager or whatever. Um, you don't have to think about it. You know, you could be sitting down and all of a sudden jump and start running. Uh, there's no, there's no thinking. There's no correlation. There is no trying to figure it out. There's no, oh, I got to balance myself. Of course not. You know exactly what's coming next because you've done it day after day after day after. There, there's no day that. Now, unless a, a, a child goes, I don't know, they're, they're, they're bed rest, they're sick or something, there's no day that they're not practicing walking every single day. And so it's the daily actions. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. It's the daily actions. No, perfect practice doesn't make perfect. That's bullshit. Okay, and that's that's really what I wanted to say. It's bullshit. And, and if you're trying to find out what perfect practice is, chances are you're overthinking. And if you're overthinking... You are being a perfectionist. And if you're being a, being a perfectionist, I know what's happening. You're procrastinating. I know exactly what's happening. You're procrastinating. All perfectionists procrastinate. All overthinkers are perfectionists. And it's because, because the fear of what's going to happen next, right? Well, I have to think about my moves. What's going to happen next? You can't. You can't. Or oh, I got to figure out what I'm going to paint today. You, you, you really can't. If you're doing that, you don't paint enough. You're not doing it enough. There's 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 not enoughness happening. You you you're 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 still you're still in amateur level. If you're if you're sitting there and thinking, what am I gonna do today? I'm a, that's amateur level. A pro just shows up and starts painting whatever. It doesn't matter what. I don't care. I'll paint this today. I don't care. I'll I'll whatever. I'll paint my hand. I'll draw my hand. A pro just shows up and starts doing because from there it shows you the next step. And then it shows you the next step and it starts opening up. It starts opening up like a flower. The petals, boom, 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 starts opening up and it shows you every single step. And you can't find that out unless you're doing it over and over and over. There's a wisdom in repetition. Something starts happening. Of course, we know momentum is one of them. But there's so many other things that start happening because there's a, there's a, a lot of intelligence in our being. Our being has a lot of intelligence that we sell ourselves short by trying to project only. The mind can only project so much. The, 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 when you're actually doing something, that's why I always laugh when people that are not doing what I'm doing, you know, tell me, I used to get upset, but now I just laugh it off. Tell me, hey, why don't you try this? We'll say, I'm like, because you ain't doing it, son. That's why you're, ask, that's why you're asking the stupid questions, because you ain't doing it. I'm the one doing it. I know exactly what's happening here. I'm the one. I'm the one kicking and punching. I know exactly. It's kind of kind of like when we watch a, a boxing match and we're like, "Oh man, that guy's so stupid. He should have popped him right there." You don't know what's going on there. You have no idea if the guy is like on on his last breaths. You have no idea if 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 that punch was looked visible, looked visible on 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 screen, but right in front of that person, it was further. It it it, it, it couldn't work, and on all kinds of things. You know, people are yelling and. And you know, someone popped him on the, on the face, and well, like, yeah, someone popped him on the face, and so he's he's disoriented. There's all kinds of stuff happening in a boxing match, and and people are always screaming, right? Hit him right there, blah blah blah. Of course not, of course not. Only the person that's fighting knows exactly what's happening in that moment. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Take care. All right, so I'll leave you with that. Again, my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. Uh, just, just do, guys. Just do. Okay? This, this whole bullshit of perfect practice makes perfect. You, you, you're going to sit there. You're going to start scratching your head. And you start procrastinating and not get anything done. Hoping to do the right thing. To me, the right thing is get something done. I don't care what it is. Dude, do something. It doesn't matter what it is. Just do it and repeat it over and over. Okay? Take care. Peace out.